All right, so the main event between Sean Strickland and Drickus Duplessis continues to heat up, okay? This is already a great fight. Strickland versus Drickus, right? They're both great fighters. I love watching Sean fight. I love his style. Works behind that jab. Uses the Philly shell. Nice head movement. Great jiu-jitsu. Shocked the world when he beat Israel Adesanya. And then on the flip side, Drickus Duplessis, an absolute wrecking ball of violence. 20 wins, 19 finishes, six of them being in the UFC, stopping Robert Whittaker. And he just goes. He just goes and goes and goes and swings and swings and swings until he gets the job done. So the fight sells itself already. As we know, these two have been going back and forth trading barbs and it continues to uh, escalate in terms of tension between these two. They got into a fight at UFC 296. We know that, okay? Now, Sean Strickland came out and he says, if he brings up my childhood trauma, if he mentions what my dad did or anything like that ever again, I'm going to stab him. Simple as that. At the press conference, at the weigh-ins, I don't care. I will stab him. I actually sent him a message and I was like, dude, listen, Dragus, we're going to go try to murder each other. But if you bring that shit up again, I will stab you. Yeah, I mean, I press saw... conference weigh in. You bring that, like he's gonna bring it up. No, no, he was cool about it. He was like, he was cool. But I mean, again, I'm not telling you I don't want to fight you, Dracus. I'm not saying you're not a good fighter. I'm just saying that that's a line that when crossed, it it, it transcends fighting to like if I have it's it's yeah. a, like I'm gonna if, if I go to Canada and you bring that up, well, guess what? I'm gonna go to jail. They're gonna deport me, and the ne <laughs> we we spent eight weeks of training doing for no reason. Right. And then on the flip side, Drix Duplessis says, well, the man's a hypocrite. He says that he laughed and joked about Khalil Roundtree. He says that he went on about Ian Gary's situation and all this type of stuff. And he says, but all of a sudden, right, when he was given a dose of his own medicine, now he can't take it. Now he's a hypocrite and all the rest of it. So as I say, it's continuing to escalate. It's starting to heat up even more and the fight's going to be even better. OK, so what are my thoughts on all of this? Well, Drix is his right. Drickers is right. Sean Strickland goes out there, talks a lot of shit. I enjoy the character of Sean. I do. And that's what Drickers said as well. He said, I do find a lot of what he says and does and how he acts to be very funny and entertaining, as do I. But, you know, you can't have your cake and eat it. You can't talk shit about everybody out there and just go on Instagram and on Twitter and talk shit about people and not expect other people to talk about you. Now, granted, certain things should be off the table. We know that. We've talked about this before. But Sean put them out there. Sean put them out there for people to do that, for people to talk shit. You know, let's remember, Sean even talked about that young girl that passed away, the aspiring MMA fighter, and when other people showed sympathy and said, Dana White knows my name and stuff like that, he was like, this is ridiculous. He said, look at her. She's three and one as an amateur. She wasn't even really that good. All you guys are just doing this for clicks, okay? I'm not talking shit about Sean. I'm just further showing examples about how we talk shit about people and that one was pretty bad and now when Drickers is talking shit you know he's talking about trying to stab the man which I don't understand right I understand he's saying that he's mad he's saying that he's angry and I understand that because I've been there one time in my career Jorge Rivera when I was in Australia he was making these videos every day there was a new video it got on my tits it drove me crazy drove me around the bend and I was like I'm going to kill this guy right uh, I went into that octagon not really looking for a mixed martial arts contest I went in there to handle the business and beat this guy up and make him pay for his words and that's what Sean has the ability to do right Drickus in his mind has stepped over the edge stepped over the line said things you shouldn't say well that's fine because you get a chance to settle it Saturday night don't be talking about shooting him talking of which by the way his coach handed him a beautiful gold-plated gun quite the gift right? it looks cool as hell I'm not a gun guy but if I was that'd be sick but he's talking about stabbing him right talking about stabbing him right putting one in his ribs Saturday night they get to step in the octagon that's what he should focus on, okay? He should say, if you bring that up one more time, if you talk about my childhood trauma, if you talk about what I went through and you use it as some scandalous way, some idle tittle-tattle to promote this fight, if you're going to go there, I am going to punish you because Saturday night, you're going to be locked inside a cage with me. Uh, my only job is to beat the living shit out of you, right? I don't think he should say that he's going to stab him. Okay, you should say, I'm gonna, bro, you're making a big mistake here. You are making a big, big mistake. Now, Drickus seems like he's having a bit of fun with it. 
And the reality is you can't underestimate Sean Strickland. is the champion of the world for a reason, and it's a very tough matchup. I do think Drickus, even though he said he's not going to bring it up again, you never know. He just might do it. And it's going to be interesting to see the dynamic at the press conference this week because what Drickus said may have impacted Sean a little bit. He might not want to go there, right, and be his normal, controversial, kind of outspoken self because he knows Drickus kind of has that in his back pocket to make him lose his mind, right? So what will Sean do? Will he, will he be a little bit more reserved, okay? Will he stay composed in the fight? Will he lose his mind and have the red mist? Because if he does that, I believe that plays into the hands of Drickus Duplessis. I think Duplessis hits way harder. We saw Sean can crack. He dropped Izzy. Almost had him done. He finished Abus Magameda for a man that was undefeated. And now Sean believes in his hands. That, on top of potentially seeing the red mist, could be exactly what Drickus wants. And Drickus, by the way, is an unbelievable grappler. Took Darren Till down, took a lot of people down. Just recently, he was at a grappling tournament where he took out an entire team of Gracies, finishing them all in a variety of ways. Anacondas, Dodge chokes, rear necky chokes, guillotines, one-armed guillotines. The man's a serious grappler with a great gas tank, okay, because he's had his nose operated on and he can breathe properly now. It's definitely making a difference in how I look when I fight, because, you know, breathing through your mouth definitely looks crazy and it, you definitely start hyperventilating when you're breathing heavily. And during my rest rounds, I can really, that, that's where the big difference comes in. And my recovery, my sleep, everything uh, has been better. And in the past, he doesn't care. He just swings and goes forward like crazy. Even if he's going to get tired, the man is relentless and never stops coming forward. So it's going to be a great fight. But the build-up, I'm interested to see. And what do you think about this? Do you think Sean will be a little bit more reserved? Because now, because he spoke about this stuff, okay? He talked about what he went through and yeah, he did start crying. And there's nothing wrong with that. Grown men cry, okay? Fighters are just normal human beings and we have a lot of emotional baggage. And yeah, sometimes that catches up with you and sometimes you break down in tears. And it didn't break down in tears. It was a very manly little bit of tear in the corner. But that's just enough for what your opponent needs, okay? And Drickus has that in his back pocket. He said he's not going to hammer the fact home. He says that he likes Sean Strickland. But all they got to do is start talking a bit of shit, tempers fly, and they start going on about all sorts. Now, reality is Drickers hasn't talked about his background and things like that. So Sean doesn't have the same ammunition, okay? He doesn't have the same kind of firepower. He can call him a pussy. He can say, I'm going to stab you. He can say, I'm going to shoot you. I'm going to beat you up. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make you regret saying these things. But he hasn't got anything personal to really go down there and dig deep, you know? So Sean might just come out, be a little bit more cordial in this one. But regardless, I'm really excited for the fight. The first pay-per-view of the year going down to Toronto, Canada. Bantamweight division on the line as well with Raquel Pennington and Myra Bueno Silva. And of course, opening the main card, Arnold Allen from the UK taking on the undefeated Movsar Evloev. Got to give a special shout out to Arnold Allen there because the man was on an 11 fight unbeaten streak in the UFC. Fought Max Holloway, which is a tough out for anybody. And he lost the fight and he will have learned some lessons. He's training with Faraz Zahabi still at TriStar in Montreal. Uh, and now he's coming back after fighting Max Holloway to fight on another guy that doesn't have the same kind of recognition as a Max Holloway, but certainly has the same talent. Right? 17 and 0, undefeated, a great wrestler, a great striker, and a very, very tough test for anybody. So, shout out to Arnold Allen. That will be a great fight. Um, but Drickus Duplessis, do you think he's going to go there? Do you think he's going to talk shit? Do you think that Sean Strickland will be on standby with the knife? Of course he's joking. He's speaking. I think he's just hyping, right? He's not going to take a knife with him. He's not going to shoot him. He's not going to do anything like that. But the security, they're going to be on standby on Thursday all week, okay? Don't put them on the same floor in the hotel. In fact, I wouldn't suggest they even put them in the same hotel because... Sean is a madman, okay, and he shows up every single time. That's why this week's going to be a great week. So make sure you come back to the channel. I'll be posting videos every single day. Probably going to do a live on Friday morning as well, so tune in for that one. So thanks for watching. Hope you're well. Take care. Subscribe, ring the bell. See you soon.